How you doing, Lawn Care guys? Uh, it's Pierce Tony here. Um, I'm away to go get my daughter real quick. I'm pretty much done for the day. I just want to talk a little bit about um, a little bit of everything. Uh, it's a good lawn care season. Uh, hot. Um, been very hot. Uh, just want to talk about. You gotta be careful about the good mood cuts. You ever did a good mood cut? <laughs> a good mood cut is when it's either like you you get a customer and you got hired for a job and they're gonna pay you the money you want and uh, you get excited. You you ha you're so happy that you don't uh, you know uh, uh, think about. Um, what you're doing when you cut so you'll cut a yard and you'll do everything now when you're you're at normally at a yard you know you do the minimum now I always say do the best you can do at any job whatever job you do just do it well just do a good job anywhere you know but there are some times where you could do a good mood job where you'll go and you'll you'll start cutting around uh, the bushes. You know, it, it, it may be like their little garden area where they don't normally uh, uh, you you don't normally cut there. You know, a person doesn't normally cut in a bush area where their little weeds are, but you might see the weeds in there. You say, you know what? Let me go ahead and hit that. I'll go ahead and knock that out right there, and you'll do a whole lot of work for them. You might even cut back some tree branches. You know, cut some bushes back. Remember, when you do that, they're gonna expect you to do that all the time. And especially, you know, uh, 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 sometimes I, I'll do it for customers that uh, I've had for a while. I've been uh, coming back cutting them all the time and, and I'll do, you know, some, some, some extra work because I'm in a good mood. I said, let me go ahead, and then that'll be one of the better looking cuts because you did a little bit more than you normally do. So as a result, that customer will see. Sometimes they'll say, well, you know, sometimes he cut the grass really good, and some other times seem like it's not like before, you know, because I was in a better mood. You ever did a good mood cut? Think about it. Good mood cuts. All right, let's talk about cost plus pricing. Cost plus plus pricing. Now, cost plus pricing, what we're talking about that is determine how much the service costs you, allowing you to determine how much more to charge. So, let me get my seatbelt on. Where's my seatbelt on? I ain't even teaching. I'm not being a good example here. Wear your seatbelt. Uh, <laughs> but uh, sometimes you'll get a job and you'll take it on you'll look at it now when i do my jobs i don't charge like other people charge cubic foot for so many yards or, or you just if you're doing a most job bush job uh even just mowing the grass if you're putting down uh, uh, uh pine needles and, and things whatever you're doing make sure you determine how much the service is going to cost you before you go out and just blurt out a, a bid. You know, you better make sure so that you'll know exactly what to charge. You know, so that you can get your profit out of it. You know, you make your little money. So you gotta make sure you get your money out of the job as well. So I wanna talk about that a little bit and um, there's a couple other little things I wanted to discuss um, as the day goes by. And I had had a little note I had wrote there. I said, let me talk to my viewers uh, don't go long distances for a little bit of money you know 45 minutes to an hour and a half and stuff like that uh, you just don't want to do that you know don't 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 travel real far uh, for for a little bit of cash you know if you charge a $35 for for a mowing job don't travel 45 you know minutes to get there, you know, think in your minds. You say, well, how much should I charge? If you have to go 45 minutes for a job, make sure you charge a dollar a minute in your mind. I mean, you probably get more than that, you know. 
you go 45 minutes, it might be a job worth $60. You know, a $60 job, big job, $60. But I'm just saying, if you're going to charge minimum, if you're thinking $35 and you had to travel $45, I mean 45 uh, minutes for a yard, think $45. Think $45. Your minimum is going to be $45. You go, if you got to travel 60 minutes for a yard, your minimum price should be $60. Okay, so remember that. Um, I burn a lot of gas every day. Drive, I burn a lot of gas. I know that mowing, mowing lawns when you cut grass, you're gonna charge, uh, I mean, you're gonna be riding around town all day. Uh, you're gonna have to get gas a lot. You know, I have to get gas uh, every two days. You know, and this truck I got, it's, it's just gonna, you, you, you gotta put, a whole lot of gas in it. You know, you got to put a whole lot of gas in it. So, it, it, charged, it cost me like $100 to fill up. You know, when the gas went up because of those hurricanes, $100. Every time I put the, pull that uh, hook off that, uh, uh, unless I go to Kroger's. You know, and if you go to Kroger's, you know, you, you spend a lot at Kroger's getting your groceries and things like that, you can save a few dollars. You know, you got all your little uh, Speedway cars. Some people use Speedway cars, a Speedy car, or uh, some people use, um, you know, United Air Farmers or wherever you live, you know. Uh, HQ, you know, for those in the South, you know. Uh, and they use those little discounts, and that's good. So make sure you take advantage of all of your discounts on gas and things like that, because remember, you're not just getting gas for your truck. You're getting gas for your mowers, you know, you're getting gas for your trimmers, you know, you got your gas oil mix, you got all those things. And so make sure that you're getting the proper money that you're supposed to get when you go look at a job. You know, don't price any mulch job under, under 250 if you don't have to. You, you, if you gotta get under 250, that usually means it's very small and, um, that's just what it means. You got a real small job. You're doing it for 250. I'm not doing the most job for less than 250. I mean, you, you, and, I, and I'm talking about getting the price up to like 750. So here are my little uh, marks, my little notes for what I charge. So when I go out and I charge somebody something, I'm trying to charge you 450 for like a most job, any type of landscaping. I start minimum usually 450. After 450, now I jump up to 650. After 650, I jump up to 750, then 850, then 1,000, 1,200, 1,400, 1,500. I'm jumping up. So you jump up there, start high. When you start your bids, always start as high as you can. They ain't gonna go nowhere. They'll probably say, what? Now I told a lady the other day, this wasn't nothing. Nah, I did her yard. Way cheaper than what I, I, I normally do. And she was a nice lady when I first started talking to her. So I said, I, I, she said, I got all these bushes I want you to cut. She had mass bushes, mass weeds, uh, just mass everything. She had a whole lot of work. So I said, okay, I'll tell you what. Give me 50, 550. Just give me 550. She looked at me and said, what? I just had somebody bid it for 145. I said, well, you better go get him. Because I ain't about to do that for the 145. I ain't got time to be there for the 145. Okay, so she uh, was begging me to do it. She said, oh, please. I said, I can't. I said, I can't do nothing less than 250. I said, this is less than 250. I can't do it. Uh, uh, so my, she said, please. Yes, she said, you can do it. That's all the money we're gonna have. Um, uh, they got a whole lot of money. You seen that yard, man? You know they got some money. And people just tell you that all the time. That they don't have the money or they know somebody else that could do it for a better price. Or they always tell you that. Don't fall for that. So I said, I'll tell you what. I said, what's the most you can pay? She said, 200. I said, give me 200. I'll knock it out for you. Knock that job out, man. I was so hot, sweating. Man, don't do nothing. If, if you, listen. If you're gonna get a job, bid a job. When you look at it, don't worry about what other people charge. Don't always go and see what somebody else is gonna charge for the exact same job. What you do is just go do the job. Do the job. 
and let them know, you know, that you have to get your price. Now, your price is going to be what you want, how you feel. So if you're going to go do a mulch job, you're going to lay pine straw or mulch, uh, 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 bush job, trimming bushes, and you're going to cut the grass and blow all the leaves out and move the weeds and spray, you know, and you see that when you walk away from that job, that $550 is not going to make you happy. You're not going to be satisfied. Don't do it. Only do what's going to make you happy. Think in your mind what will make you happy. You know, think reasonable. Don't charge nobody all the way out of the roof just because you're being greedy. You know, don't do that. I'm saying, you know, look at the job, measure it out, and, and for your time. And if you can't figure out what the charge is, I don't know what the charge is. What would make you feel good? You gotta think what would make you feel good. You know, uh, some jobs I do, and I charge six hundred fifty dollars. When I leave, I'm, I'm burning up, sweating, sweating. I, I'm mad because I didn't charge enough, and that was six hundred fifty dollars. I know some people wouldn't charge that much. You know, seven hundred and fifty dollars. You know, for a smaller job than what I've done. You know. Uh, I, I'll do some small jobs for 750 and some people, you know, wouldn't charge that much. I mean, I meant to say a bigger job. They have a bigger job than me, wouldn't even charge that much. Get what you, get your money, man. Get what you want. Uh, and if you don't know what to charge, always think $60 an hour. And you think in your mind, you say, okay, you should know how long it's going to take you. And if you say in your mind, it's going to take me about three hours, I'll add another hour. So six times four, that's going to be 240 so you're going to be there $240, uh, $240 uh, worth of your time. Then you charge for your um, whatever's going to cost you. Your, uh, uh, if you need pine straw, you know, do not do not add that, you know, to what you're going to be making. Remember what you make is not the same as what you got on um, the, 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 what you're going to be spending. You got to spend for pine straw, you got to spend for mulch, you got to spend for, you know, uh, if you got to drive real far, add your gas in. You know, add all that stuff in, get all that stuff added, and then go from there, you know. Uh, you'll make your money, it'll be good, it'll be good money. That's what I got to say, you know, do that. Uh, make sure that you take care of that business uh, uh, when you're trying to get your money. Um, one more thing I had here, I said, a uh, little note I had wrote down, uh, be fair, uh, be respectful, and, and if you have to work with somebody, have a good partner. Don't get nobody that's gonna sit around, be hiding. You know, you doing all the work, they back in the backyard, sitting on the porch, uh, 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 texting somebody, or they're somewhere hiding. You know, sometimes people will act like they're doing work, and you'll, you'll, you'll know they're not doing work because you've, you've already, you've, if you work in the front, they're working in the back, and you done did all this work and you went to the back they just barely even got started you know they've been hiding they've been sitting around hey, get you a good partner don't just get know anybody um <clears throat> so be fair be respectful have a good partner and have trust in yourself have trust in yourself you don't trust anybody trust have trust and belief in yourself always remember that and you'll do well and that's why i say just try as hard as you can to be a good lawn care guy. And, and not just lawn care, whatever you're doing. You're painting, you're doing pressure washing, uh, you're doing junk removal, uh, you're doing whatever you're doing. Uh, be fair, be honest, uh, treat people with respect. You know what I mean? And um, uh, uh, trust God in what you do. Pray, God always help you and see you through. Amen, God bless you, be encouraged. TNT Lawn Care.